Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Hope you guys are having an awesome morning, awesome day already. As uh, you're watching this before you, you started watching this, hope your day's already going great. And um, if not, well, I'm gonna start wishing you an awesome and amazing day right off the bat. Um, why? Well, because it, it's glorious. You know, life is glorious. Everything's amazing. Um, and um, it's gonna be, you know, a little bit of a different episode today, all right? Um, so normally, when you wake up on Monday morning and you, uh, you know, watch my videos on Monday or Tuesday, whenever you watch it, usually it's uh, like a Monday motivation. And um, I know a lot of you guys, uh, you know, look forward to watching that. You know, look forward for me to record it and put it up and then uh, and put it there for you guys. But you know, the reality is, is that you know, um, I used to do these videos on a regular basis and Monday motivation on a super regular basis all the time. And um, sure, you know what I mean. Back when my channel wasn't so big, oh. <laughs> we just walked right by uh, at, the, at the, the perfect time with the noise. Anyways, no, but um, but back to what I was saying. So yeah, guys, back to what I was saying before I got rudely interrupted. Didn't that guy know I'm making a video? Bruh. Anyways, so back to what I was gonna get at. You know, so I'm um, back when my channel wasn't so big. You know, making these videos uh, and then watching the view counts on the videos. Well, it kind of matched up pretty equally and evenly. But you know, the thing is, in my channel and a lot of the channels, you know, that I make content for, you know, they're growing and growing each and every day, like a lot. And so that's a great thing. But the reality is that in order for that to continue to grow, I need to, I need to go out of my way, and I need to start. Um, you know what I mean? Like um, improving on the videos that I make, you know what I mean? And so one of the things that I gotta start doing is that I gotta start rethinking how I'm gonna be doing these uh, Monday motivations. So, you know, that's why I'm out here, you know, talking to you guys about this and all that stuff. So, so you guys know what's coming and uh, you guys, you know what I mean? Like I love a lot of you guys, again, are waiting and expecting that Monday motivation, but it's not gonna be here for much longer. And in fact, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna be naming these things Monday Motivation or Motivation or anything like that. I'm just gonna be doing my, my regular videos, doing my regular content, doing all that normal stuff, and then just keep sprinkling a lot of the, you know what I mean, the motivational stuff on top of that. Because, you know, the thing is that I've always done that. Um, for a while, I started, uh, you know, just concentrating, making videos um, with that particular content alone. But the reality is, is that, you know, there's so much more content, there's so much more stuff out there that I could be making and producing and creating. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, I already have like a million Monday Motivation videos. You know, what I really need to start doing is uh, creating more, you know, content to give you solutions, you know, to what's going on all around us, you know? And, um, and that's basically it. So, you know, one of the things that we're gonna be discussing today is um, the, the people that I listen to because sure you guys listen to me and you guys think i'm great and all that stuff but you guys are probably curious you know damn who does he listen to what does he you know um you know again listen to you know who do i um where do i get some of my knowledge from where do i get you know some of my information from and all that good stuff and uh you know that's what we're going to be talking about today so i gotta walk all the way to the mall because i gotta do it like a million errands but errand number one is i gotta come in here and i gotta pay my phone bill real quick so let me pay my phone bill and let me, uh, you know, get back to you guys in a second. And we're going to be talking about, you know, basically everyone I listen to. And I'm not, you know, going to give you exact crazy details, but just enough details so that you guys can look and search for it yourself. And, uh, you know, again, have some extra content, even more, ba you know, more based to your knowledge. Have a stronger foundation to everything that, uh, you know, you're talking about and listening. And, uh, you know, just to make sure that you're, um fundamentals you know that you and everything that you say is is stronger every each and every day okay by but the only way you can do that is by continuing to add knowledge to that base so with that being said let me go in there let me pay the phone bill and i'll be right back all right guys phone is paid all right i'm back on the grid yay <laughs> um but yeah anyway so i'm on my way now to the store to go pick up um you know stuff that i need to go pick up all right because uh you know, uh, this is actually Thanksgiving week, and uh, um, I gotta go pick up uh, all the Thanksgiving goodies, all right? So, um, normally we go down that road, but I'm gonna go down this road just because, you know, I got a bunch of things to say, and we're gonna be talking about them. All right, so, one of the, okay, so what I'm gonna start doing now is like, I'm basically just gonna go off the top of my head, and I'm gonna just start naming a bunch of names. Um, 
just to have them as reference here and then we'll just start dissecting them and talking about each one individually and all that good stuff okay but um so the first person that i always tell you guys that you have to listen to that you have to go look up that you have to go you know um get information from and i don't listen to this guy all the time you know what i mean because again he had he has a, a large treasure trove of information um and right now even, even though he talks about gold and silver and all this other stuff you know in, in a sense it's like unless you're like really into that you know right now um eh, you know you just really need to look at his encyclopedic uh, documentary stuff okay who am i talking about I'm talking about mike maloney the hidden secrets of money okay so right off the bat that's not someone i listen to every day but my god you know for a good time i used to listen to him all the time and that's why i know a lot of things that i know right now okay you know another person that you know you should start listening to and start looking up is jeff berwick okay the dollar vigilante now this guy's probably not gonna be on youtube anymore i think they took him off already but he's out there okay he's out there on bit shoot he's out there and other you know what i mean and, and other uh you know platforms okay so you can go search and look for him another person okay another person that um is great um this is uh for like daily listening right now um i would uh check out these three guys okay and the, okay so first of all tim pool and now uh, tim pool had these two guests on recently one of them is this guy named jeremy something from the quartering again i'm just gonna speak it nice and slow you guys can figure it out i'm not gonna be doing too much uh um editing on this video okay but uh the quartering tim pool um hotep jesus okay all these guys start looking at them start listening to them another guy that i love a lot sam tripoli sam tripoli is uh basically uh, a stand-up comedian and he has a podcast out there called uh tin foil hat okay so the tinfoil hat podcast and enough said okay check it out i think you'll thoroughly enjoy it um who else who else is uh you know um people that um, i enjoy listening to and i listen to on a regular basis and uh um it helps me you know with uh, a lot of the information that i give you guys out here um well let's just go and start dissecting them for a bit and um and then we'll, you know, once we dissect them for a little bit, you know, then if anyone else comes to mind, I'm gonna start bringing them up. Um, the reason I'm bringing up someone like Tim Pool, if, if you don't know who he is, check him out. The minute you see him, you're like, whoa, wait a minute, like it looks like an Antifa type dude. But the reality is, is that he was part of the, back in the day, you know what I mean? If you're from the 90s, all right, or around that time, you know, back then when you were a liberal, or lefty you know it was basically fuck the government fuck the system you know we're here to you know what i mean rage against the machine and now that same group of people is basically saying can you please bow down to the machine can you please do what the machine is telling you what to do can you please put on your mask can you please get your vaccine can you please do this this or that and so you know again i, I like watching someone like tim pool because right in front of our eyes that is a great example of someone that has made this transition in real time, in real life, like a lot of us have. Um, because look, when I, I, I never, I, I, back before, back before I knew a lot of the stuff that I know now, I never, um, you know, I never really um, went down the rabbit hole. You know what I mean? I never really had a reason to question anything. But once I started looking at what's really going on and I started questioning everything, all of a sudden I was like, oh, wait a minute, I got a lot to say. And so, you know, once I had a lot to say, then that's when I started going on YouTube and saying these things, okay? That nobody was, uh, nobody's talking about. Or talking about briefly or what have you. And so, when, when you get to listen to other individuals that at one point thought exactly like you, and now they think in a completely different way, you know what I mean? Um, you can use them as a guide as to like, oh, wait a minute they did it you know what i mean they were able to to leave the team you know again they were able to leave the team and um either a you know join another team or basically b just create another team or in fact you know my favorite which is what i do and what they're doing for the most part is just not being on any team and um recruiting for the 
don't vote for you know what i mean like the none of the above okay so as as time goes on and more and more people get disconnected and more and more people are you know realizing what's really going on all of a sudden you know um these individuals that are fringe are now becoming um mainstream and so you know just uh like just to give you an example like about a month ago or two months ago i was already talking about the great reset and you know to me it was no great thing because i'm in this whole space you know what i mean i've been talking about these things for a long time you know the fact that these guys are blatantly now putting it out there and blatantly shoving it in our face and down our throat um it's not a surprise to me at all not, not even any anything remotely close to a surprise you know all this is extremely expected you know all this is a super duper like extremely expected you know that um we're living through what we're living through right now but there's a lot of normies out there that still can't fathom the fact that we're living in the world that we're living in and that we're going to be going into some dystopian future and um not only can they not fathom it but they're more than happy to comply, you know, with what's going to take them there. And so, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, back when I used to, like, let's go back to, you know, Monday motivation situation for a minute. Back when I used to do Monday motivation on a regular basis, man, things were great. Things, I mean, straight up, flat out. You know, I know things sucked for a lot of people. Things suck. And, uh, you know, um, in general for certain uh you know people out there remember we talk about the monday motivation i had a shitty sucky situation many times in my life but because of the motivation because of the hard work because of everything that i've done i've been able to lift myself up from that and um by doing that you know what i mean now all of a sudden you know what i mean i have an even greater set of tools in front of me in order to deal with all this stuff so if things were kind of normal right now you know the whole monday motivation thing it uh you know what i mean it's still pretty relevant in a sense you know what i mean because we have you know so much time so many resources so many everything in order to do what we need to do but the thing is that we're already kind of past that point of no return if you are still not motivated by this fucking point in time i don't know what else to fucking tell you i don't know what else to tell you if you're still not motivated enough to create a change in your life and you're just gonna sit there and mope and whatever I, I, there's nothing else i can really do for you man and, um, you know, the reality is, is that like, as much as I want to keep doing these Monday motivations, you know, whenever I put up on Monday motivation, I only see a few hundred people watching it, whether it's YouTube, that's not putting it in front of people or whether it's people not watching it because they just don't need to watch it anymore. Um, these are all incentives enough for me to stop making these. Okay. Because I would rather just sit here and, and tell you story time. And, you know, sorry, talk, talk about anything in my life. You know, talk about anything. You know, talk about and, and, you know, so many just just regular stories about my life can be such a help and such a such a, um, uh, a, 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 a what's it a guiding force for a lot of people to do you know to do what they need to do. In fact, like motivation. And so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna be spending more time on talking about my deep thoughts talking about like people that i like for example this episode we're just all over the place but we're talking about you know the people that i listen to some of the people that i listen to because i listen to a lot um i listen to joe rogan as well even though i i'm, I'm i know joe rogan is uh you know might be controlled opposition it doesn't matter you know what i mean remember know your enemy it was it keep your friends close keep your enemies closer so and again i'm not saying joe rogan's the enemy or anything like that it's another conversation for another day but all I'm saying is that, you know, right now, everyone is, you know, constantly questioning everything, you know, even even people that for the most part were not questioned on a regular basis. So if that's the case, imagine how much people are questioning governments, how many how many people are questioning authority, questioning everything that's going on around them and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? And I think it goes on and on. So, you know. I feel that if I tell you my own personal stories of uh, of strife, you know, my own personal stories of, uh, you know what I mean, all the things that I've gone through or I, I am going through or will be going through and so on, I think it's gonna be a lot more helpful than just sitting here screaming at you guys to get motivated to do something. Because the reality is, like I've said already, if you're already not, if you're still not motivated at this point with all the insanity and all the things that are happening and all this other stuff, I mean, this is it, you know what I mean? <laughs> All I can say is that, you know, that's that's the way I look at you, you know what I mean? Like, unfortunately.
and there's nothing much more I can do. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, you're choosing to be that dog there. You know what I mean? You're choosing to just lay there and um, play dead or whatever. You know what I mean? And um, that's it, guys. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sit here constantly making videos to help motivate a bunch of people that don't want to get motivated. You know what I mean? Like, it's just the reality of it. Um, and for everyone out there, with all the insanity and everything that's going on right now at this moment in time, well, then guess what? You know what I mean? By, by, by knowing what's going on right now, you know what I mean? And you having the tools and you having everything that you need right in front of your face. You know what I mean? It's up to you whether you're going to start doing something or not. You know what I mean? Like, it's, that's it. You know, we're already past that point of no return, like I've said many, 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 many times. And you know that already. Um, and what do I mean by the past, the point of no return? You know, meaning that, you know, we are in a, in a point now, okay? In which the great reset is already upon us. The wealth transfer is already happening. Um, all of these things are already taking place. And, and yet people are still wondering and asking and, and like, you know, praying to God, you know, that things are gonna change or get better or this or that. And they're, they're just not, you know why? Because you're not allowing them to do, you know, the only way that things are gonna get better is if you take charge and make them better. And that's it. If you choose to not do that, then they're not gonna get better. And they're gonna continuously get worse and worse and worse. And that's it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what else to say about the whole, you know, motivational aspect about everything that I'm saying and talking about right now. So, what I'm gonna continue doing is very simply, you know what I mean, just continue talking and making, uh, you know, all kinds of videos instead of dedicating uh, like a whole uh, episode to Monday Motivation once a week, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just sprinkle all the motivation, sprinkle all the, the knowledge, all the thought, all the everything. Let me just go to the end of the mall and walk back um, and just, you know, go through all that, you know what I mean? Like, um, to show you guys, you know what I mean? That, you know, the reality is, is that motivation has to be part of your everyday. Your motivation has to be part of, like, everything that you do in your life. And, and again, if you're not motivated enough to make a change in your own life by this point, after everything that we've been through and we're going through and, and it's coming down the pike, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, you know what I mean? And I get it, you know what I mean? It's very difficult for a lot of people out there you know, to uh, to pick themselves up because it has been very difficult for, for most people to pick themselves up, you know what I mean? Um, to, to, you know, on, on a regular basis, it, especially now, you know what I mean? So if, if during regular good times, it was really, 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 really hard for you to get up and, and do what you need to do and, uh, you know what I mean, motivate yourself to get out of your shitty situation. Well, I, I can only imagine now. Things are just getting worse. Things are just getting more difficult. Things are just, you know, again, the, the situation seems more dire and it's a lot easier for the average person out there to be like, man, I just give up. I'm just gonna lay down like that dog that I showed you earlier and just, just lay down and give up. There's no hope. But that, the, the reality is that that, that could not that couldn't not be any further from the truth, all right? That's, again, it's up to you, you know, what you're gonna decide, you know what I mean? It, it's up to you if you're gonna fucking lay down and just take it. If you're gonna lay down and let um, the new world order and let you know all of this insanity come and get you, you know what I mean? Because when you're gonna be when you're gonna be there in the future, sitting there um, at the doctor's office when and they're pricking you with that vaccine that you don't want or whatever the fuck it's going on there, you know what I mean? You only got yourself to blame. You, you follow? I mean, and this is straight up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't sit here complaining and, and, and telling you, oh my God, you know, the world is going to die. Oh, I mean, you know, we're all going to die in this world. Oh my God. You know what I mean? Like, um, the virus is, uh, is getting worse and worse. Oh my God. You know what I mean? They're going to fucking st uh, stick us with the mandatory vaccine. Oh, we can't travel because, I, you, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, just all that fear porn, all that bullshit. You know what I mean? Instead of all of that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what you could literally be doing is, again, not buying into that propaganda not buying into that bullshit not buying into any of that stuff and and again you know doing like what i'm doing notice that i'm not wearing anything i don't give a fuck i don't care you know what i mean i've already had several cops you know looking at me and 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 you know pointing their finger at me off the camera i don't care i don't care i know the laws i know my rights i know what the fuck is going on and i live in a country in which you know right now again you know my constitutional rights are actually you know upheld 
as opposed to a lot of fucking places around the world whether you're in australia europe or whatever where you don't have any rights all right again you don't because you're finding out real quick or in other countries like the u.s where you do have rights but you're now finding out really quickly that you don't have rights and they're literally stripping them away from you right in front of your eyes and um there's nothing you can do about it. now there is things you can do about it but are people going to be doing these things and that's the reality of it you know what i mean that's where we are right now so you know I, I, again you know what i mean like what i'm gonna be doing going forward is that i'm not this is this is the last monday motivation here right that i'm gonna be doing for a while all right and um like i said you know we're not gonna have like necessarily video uploads yeah i'm just walking around the oh look i did not know that they had this here just like they have like the handicap look at that they got the for the pregnant women look at that that's pretty cool so like i said really progressive so like i said look very friendly very nice he saw that i was looking at that and he was just uh you know what i mean like saying you know confirming what it was for so again guys you know what i mean a lot of people like for example you know they don't want to come out to mexico they don't want to come out to any other country out here because they think like oh my god i'm in the third world i'm in a what again now look we got handicapped parking okay like you saw there you saw the the, the pregnant lady parking um we got mcdonald's we got a whole mall all right we got you know Citibank. okay we got um workout we got everything bro we got everything out here man when people keep asking me hey how come you don't want to come back to the states or come back to you know slave world you know to the open air prison and i'm like what are you, are you serious right now you know what i mean so speaking of which you know since most of you guys unfortunately cannot be outside and cannot be enjoying you know life as you you know as you were you know um as you were not too long ago you know one of the things that you can actually do is that since you are now in prison now you are in some sort of like uh um what's the word yeah like home prison what's it called the uh, home not home school <laughs> but like uh what you might call it like oh yeah um Damn, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word right now. But yeah, look here. Let me, let's uh, look at the at the club. Look, it's called Smart Fit. So, but the word, the, what I'm trying to get at is that now, since all of us are in prison, well, most of you guys are in prison. You know, it's your, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you to start getting yourself better. So, for example, what do I mean? If all of a sudden you go to prison, okay, and it's unfair, you know, it's um. You know, again, you know what I mean? You didn't break the law, you didn't anything, but you got um, um, someone framed you or whatever the hell, whatever. You're in jail. And you're going to be in jail for the next two years. What are you going to do? Are you going to just sit there and mope and cry and, and uh, wait for Tyrone to fucking uh, stick it up your butt and all that good stuff? Or are you going to just sit there and read, you know, get physically fit, read some more? You know learn some you know some some new skills you know whatever those skills are whether they are you know um skills that are going to help you um with law going to help you with your you know your business when you get out of jail whatever man you know what i mean like at the end of the day you know you're in prison right now like most of us are in prison but what are you going to do with this time what are you going to do with during this whole period you know what i mean what, what are you going to do because again there's plenty of people that go to prison and they come out and you know they're worse off than they ever were but plenty of people go to prison and they come out and they're you know what i mean they're in tip-top shape they're super intelligent they got like all of these skills now that are literally going to take them to the next level and beyond you feel me so you should be doing the same like i've been telling you guys to do the same like i was talking about in the last episode and so on and so forth where again you know what i mean like you got to be using this time and you got to be using everything that's going on around you in your favor you got to be able to to you know take advantage of all this because otherwise all this is going to be taking advantage of you so again no more excuses i don't want to hear let me see can you see me you guys can barely see me it's just so hot i don't want to be standing out in the sun i'll fix this later but yeah look guys at the end of the day it's up to you what you're going to do all right and um you need to stop you know pussyfooting around and you need to start um you know again motivating yourself and start figuring out what to do and by the way what really ticked me off to the point where i'm making this video is because i make a lot of monday motivations and they get seen but when I made uh, one of the last Monday motivations, which was how to motivate yourself, all of a sudden, you know what I mean? All of a sudden that video got no views, you know, because it's like, that's the thing. People don't want, you know, um, they don't want to help themselves. They want, they, they want others and other things to help them. You know what I mean? Whether it's government, whether it's other people, whatever it is, you know what I mean? They always want that crutch. It's very easy to have, you know, that crutch and to be living with that crutch. But 
I'm here to tell you that it's not good, man. That's that crutch is uh, again comfort is what's gonna kill you, and uh, comfort is the ultimate killer. So stop getting comfortable and start learning how to get uncomfortable. All right, guys, that's enough. You know what I mean? I really gotta go because I gotta shop. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. I got a lot of things I gotta do. Um, so you already know the deal. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell like on. But more importantly than anything else, stay awesome. Thanks again for watching. I really hope you can go enjoy today's episode that was all over the place. But I really hope that you understand exactly what I'm talking about. And that, uh, you know, this is the beginning of a very, very beautiful relationship with you and everyone else out there. You know what I mean? That's watching or re-watching or whatever. All right, guys? Thanks again for hanging out with me today. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.